What's up guys, Michael here. Um, what I'm going to do uh, today is I'm just going to take you through a, um, just a quick uh, little kind of tutorial on how to render out a gameplay, movie, webcam thing, whatever, in Windows Live Movie Maker. Because not everybody has Sony Vegas or Camtasia or anything like that. So, you know, everybody has Sony Vegas, so... You know, it's just kind of like a universal tool. Um, so basically, first thing you're going to need is a video file. Um, so what I want to do is just jump into Minecraft quickly. Just log in there. Not really bothered about frame rate and whatnot. Um, so as you can see, it's all like la di da di da. Um, so, I'll just quickly uh, just pause this recording, record something on this, and then I'll get right back. Okay, so um, I recorded some Minecraft there, uh, just a quick bit, uh, you can see it uh, there. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Windows Live Movie Maker. And we are going to select the video clip that we want. Um, so, just come down here. And it's that one there. So, just open. And depending on how fast your computer is going, it will take a while for um, this to sort itself out. Uh, that keeps happening. Because my computer has some sort of virus of some description and it's really nice, so what it'll do this split itself into a certain amount of stuff um, you'll have a preview there where you can sort of view your video before you render it um, so what all this is, it's just like different parts of your video um, basically these are things you can do, like just like intros, like my movie or assignment or whatever and you put side bits on you can do a fade transition for a title um, and this you've got you can add sepia to it um, so if you do this you'll be able to see there it's all sepia looks like all oh, you know black and white or pan and zoom um, so I um you can add more stuff you can add a set start and set end so you can like crop it in and stuff like that as far as I know you can or not um you can share the video to YouTube and that over there a trim tool so you can trim it in so if you want it to start it somewhere else we'll see it'll start going to kill the sheep so we'll start it just there and we'll end it say we'll end it about 15 seconds in yeah okay so we'll save that so you see it's uh, trimmed it down also if you move this cursor into the roughly middle you can split it and then you'll have two different things where you can rearrange the uh, order in which they are played. Uh, you can have so how if it fades in or fades out. You know, and you can set the speed to it so you can speed it up, or you can slow it down. And you can have visual effects like threshold, whatever the fuck that is all these different things so we're going to add a blur to this and we'll add what we'll add what should we add to this we'll add what the fuck that is to that right and then you've got you can change the aspect ratio um you can add animations to it different ones there all pretty like standard things 
Um, you can preview it full screen, blah, blah, blah. You can add music to it. You can create a snapshot of the preview. You can add credits, a caption, a title. You can add record straight from your webcam. Add more videos and stuff. Uh, but if you think you're finished, if you think that's like everything you're going to need, what you do is you uh, you see a movie and you've got lots of different uh, settings but for this one we're going to go into create a custom setting um, so what you want to do is uh, you choose what you want your width to be and your height um, now this will usually be for high definition I think um, so you just it's got two ones got a high definition of, no, that's 1080p so that's high definition I've got for a computer, that's just standard definition. Or I've got for a burn to a DVD, again that's standard definition. And it tells you there what the estimated file size is going to be. So really if you've got a certain file size that you want it to be, you can just go through all these and look for one. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of these unless it's like that one. Uh, for hey, if you want to be uploading to YouTube or whatever. Um, if you want to upload to YouTube and you want high definition, definitely go for that one. Or you can go in for a new one and then change it to where over uh, that one and then you'll want the frame rate at 60 and uh, the bit rate one them I'm not sure about that what's it got there um I and her name one let's we'll call it one okay then we'll save it uh no right go with that I want to see the custom setting as one, right? Okay, so that's two four hundred, so we'll just copy that. And then go to one. And then we'll put that in there. And we'll leave that at that, so it'll be seven twenty P. so it tells you there that's how big it's going to be. So we'll save. And we'll save that there. Yes I do. And then we'll close. And we'll go to file save movie and then custom setting one and we'll just save it as test save and then it'll start saving it um, and depending on how fast your computer is um, it depends and how much you've got depends on how fast it'll um, render it out but considering this is only a short clip and my comp laptop is an okay um kind of speed you can sort of you know won't take that long so uh we'll just come back once this is finished and it's just about to finish so um it's nine percent feet and it's done um you can play it or open the folder so we'll play it just to see what it looks like so you see it's got the effect on it's all sped up it's all sorted out yeah you can see the, uh, the blur effect and everything like that. So, um, that's what it looks like just playing on there. Um, what you can do if you don't want to kind of uh, save it to your thing, um, you can edit, send it straight to YouTube or Facebook or SkyDrive or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's just basically really how to, how to render it um, using Windows live movie maker. Uh, I'll upload the video that I've just done and I'll also render this before I trimmed it and add the transitions and everything. I'll just add that pure thing rendered in HD and uh, excuse me I'm going to sneeze. Uh, so I'll render this out uh, just like the footage before I trimmed it and everything and I'll let you see how it looks uh, in HD rendering with uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, so it's been Michael. I hope this has helped somebody. And uh, thanks a lot.